So there's a garden here on this side of the cycling trail. And then this is a compost garden back there with that gate. Pretty cool. And then you got, of course, mountains right by these trees. So I'm just exploring the city some more. Trying to me memorize and familiarize myself with the whole place. garden is still going. It goes for, you know, it's got to be like two or three hundred meters and keeps going I think. So it's my day off. Super stoked to explore some more. I'm gonna see where this path takes me. I think it takes me to the seaside trail path. That's pretty awesome. And it keeps on going that way. Alright, so less than... Did I get a flat? Hopefully not. No flat tires on this ride. So yeah, within like literally a minute of that garden, I just... was that? I'm on an island called Granville Island. So there's like breweries and restaurants and farmers markets. You can buy like really good produce here and shit. They do like live music and whatever else. Different kind of boating stuff. And right across the waters downtown. Is all of these pretty cool and no that isn't a ship over there I thought it was a ship but it's actually just a building that looks like a ship that I've never really noticed before can't see it from here there's like 20 people here all painting taking their turns everyone's painting it's pretty cool keep on moving Last quick shot. Says that building looks like a ship. Totally tricked me. through here. Hopefully nobody steps in front of me. Next bridge. Everyone's rocking out. 
People playing music everywhere. Don't want to fall in a crack. Alright, it's probably a rough view. Time to go. Let's do some riding. This place never ceases to amaze me. This is a lagoon in front of these houses here. Right across from the water, the mountains. And that's where I just was right there. Alright, so I was just over there across the bridge. That's the Granville Island I was at. This Canadian flag looks huge, but it's not. It's just on this boat right in front of me. So, I'm very over the whole, oh, I need to make this many kilometers in every ride and blah, 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 Strava competitions. It's just like, go out and have some fun, you know, put some effort in once in a while, obviously. I'm not against effort, but just stress about like how far you went that day and what your wattage is and your heart rate and blah 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 it's like if you ain't getting paid why are you wasting so much energy putting you know stress and everything on your day off into worrying about like average heart rate and, and average watts and all this kind of stuff if you're not racing for money or something like that just enjoy get out there and try something new see new places Just go with the vibe, go with the flow. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. Anywhere you're at though, there's always something beautiful no matter where you are. Just gotta find that spot with your bike or your hike. Hike your bike, get to those views and enjoy them. And chill the hell out. Again, just in the bush now, enjoying the good outdoors. So there's a bunch of single track mountain biking, you got crazy like logs and water everywhere to jump over and climb and if you like riding through water, you got some big ass trees. Ooh, I'm already dizzy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going 4.30. I got a second meetup. It's not a date with a girl I met online, the girl from Seoul, Korea. And look at that, I already got a tan line. Nice little house here. Canuck Place. Wonder what it is. Too bad the sun's behind it. Looks pretty cool. Some monster houses around here. Hun millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. Pretty cool to have this right in my neighborhood. For very affordable prices, I get to live with millionaires and only make a couple thousand a month.
purchased this the other day. So basically, it's a bike um, lockup. I don't even know what to call it, anti-theft system for your whole bike. I didn't read that. Uh, so it has a lock key tool and then a seat post and then each wheel. So it basically puts it on there so that people can't come along and just grab this and pull it off like that and pull your bike uh, wheel off and steal it. Then you don't have to worry about putting like your U-lock through your tires or having an extra cable and all this extra stuff. So it gets one for the front, one for the back, and then one for the seat post here. So I'm just going to quickly install that and should be good to go. And then I can start riding to work and not worry about it. They also make one for the head tube, which I didn't find necessary for, for here. But who knows, somebody could, I guess, steal your handlebars. But don't see that happening too often. I dropped my bike yesterday, as you guys saw. All good. I'm putting new, I got brand new bar tape as well coming. Kind of a cool building, I don't know what it is. Kind of looks like a castle. Nice little stair set over there. Probably hit that up before you get kicked out a few times. All right, so I just took the bus home. It's like midnight and I met another guy named Matt from Winnipeg, which is pretty awesome. Super talkative dude. He's actually, uh, filming an episode for Supergirl right now. He's kind of dressed up like a stormtrooper, kind of Iron Man kind of kind of dude. So if you watch Supergirl, you'll see uh, probably a bunch of those. She's probably gonna like kick his ass or a bunch of their asses, like typical su superhero shit. So he added me on Facebook, probably gonna hang out, might get him a side job at my uh, work if he needs it. So he's from Winnipeg, which is like the worst city in Canada to live in other than Edmonton. <sighs> so now it's, like I said, it's midnight. I'm home, have a quick snack, head to bed. Just came in the basement door. Bike is still there, that's good. I might come in the basement because I can just push a button and walk in. And I don't need a key because the front door, front door is a little sticky. So uh, I just like hitting the button, walking in. My hair is all kinds of fucked up right now. But that's what you get for wearing a hairnet. And work's going pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed that long ass video. Whoever watched it, I know a lot of people aren't going to watch a 25 minute video, but I put a lot of effort into that one. So I hope you enjoyed it. If not, screw you. <laughs> Tell me what you didn't like about it. But you gotta watch the whole thing first. So go check that video if you did not. And uh, what else? Oh, I'm going for like a hike with a girl I met on the internet. Um, a little Asian girl. I don't, can't think of her name right now. Just somebody to hang out with, meet new people. So just trying to, yeah, make new friends. You never know who you're gonna meet. And so my roommate's probably sleeping now. So I'm gonna finish out here in the hallway and we'll see you guys in the next video.